Today the Mind Your Head presents the 7 powerful techniques to increase your IQ. Have you ever felt like the most ignorant individual in the group because of your poor test result? Of course you have. Many people believe that one's IQ is fixed. They believe that one poor grade spells out lifelong stupidity, but intelligence isn't something that is predetermined. As you grow older, the parts of your brain that are involved in learning memory and other thought abilities may alter. These parts grow at various rates. Some people will take care of them, boosting the dynamic and dense growth of these parts. My point is that while nature undoubtedly plays a part, your intelligence depends on you. Few people are doomed from the beginning. But that doesn't imply that raising your IQ will be simple and quick. You can get a few bonus points by taking some shortcuts. Much more time and a lot of effort should be needed to improve your intelligence. But these techniques of this video offer you a powerful way to develop your brain and boost your intelligence. And the very best part is every one of these techniques is right at your fingertips. Therefore, include these simple techniques into your everyday routine if you wish to raise your IQ. Yes, it could require some effort, but the reward is a gift that remains forever. Okay. Now let's get into the techniques. Language learning. Do you know another language? The majority of individuals can only speak one of the many languages that exist in the globe. But one effective strategy for broadening your perspectives and improving your intelligence is to pick up a second language. Each language has its own complex set of rules that are filled with intricacy, ambiguity, and common errors. When you learn a new language, you explore into uncharted territory, break hard conventions, and discover fresh approaches to problem solving. And that significantly strengthens your brain. Studies have revealed that learning a language promotes brain growth in the prefrontal cortex, hippocampus, and other areas. It boosts your memory while also enhancing your decision-making abilities and language proficiency. Choose a language that has always sparked your interest. In your free time, begin learning French if you've always wanted to reside in France. You might want to learn Japanese or Mandarin if you want to travel around Asia. Learn a few words per day in any language you decide to study. If you practice consistently, you'll not only develop an excellent ability but also grow intellectually. Audio Intake It's not a big secret that reading has many advantages. In the entire world, there are millions of books. However, not everyone enjoys reading. Some people find that reading at a book makes them sleepy. Others lack the time or energy to read many pages each day. Is there an alternative you can use to learn more if you fit into one of these categories? Audiobooks provide a portable, enjoyable substitute for traditional reading for busy and energetic persons. Some claim that reading a physical text is preferable to listening to an audiobook. However, the truth is that it doesn't really matter how you get new information as long as you do. You're steadily raising your level of intelligence whether you're reading a chapter aloud or listening to one. Pick up an audiobook no matter how busy or preoccupied you are. Listen to your book in the background as you drive, perform your chores, or exercise. Filling the voids in your life with interest and information will cause you to begin learning naturally. Observational Change you're struggling with a crucial problem that is much above your skills. You think to yourself, I'm not smart enough to solve this problem, or this is way too difficult for me. But, you already have all the tools necessary to handle even the most challenging problems. The issue is that you are unable to utilize those tools to their full potential. It's time to alter the way you reason, think, and analyze issues if you want to increase your intellect. The scientific method is something you may be aware of. Globally, scientists measure and test their observations using a process called the scientific method. Although you don't have to fully understand the scientific process, you can apply its basic rules to improve your thinking. Think, try, learn, or TTL is a condensed version of the scientific method. TTL teaches you how to organize your thoughts, approach challenging problems, and accept learning from your mistakes. Think about your problem in detail as a first step. Ask yourself, what do I think the solution is going to look like before you try to solve anything? What is my plan for finding that answer? What conclusions do I think I will discover? 
Your prediction is referred to as a hypothesis in the scientific method. It's time for testing your predictions. Don't believe the predictions. Try experimenting with various variables to see what happens when you alter the small elements of your experiment. Then, analyze your results of the experiment after gathering them. Determine the meaning of your data and look for any similarities in your findings. Compare your final findings to your initial predictions most importantly. Did you correctly predict the answer? Or were you seriously mistaken? What didn't go as planned in your experiment? You can exponentially increase your IQ with TTL. You push yourself to think critically and gather thorough results every time you try something new. This easy, three-step procedure may help you get the most from any activity, whether it's a science experiment, a new activity, or a daily routine. Retrograde Analysis Some of the world's most intelligent thinkers are chess players. They not only play a challenging game, but they also effectively assess hundreds of moves each day. One method is known as retrograde analysis, and it is used frequently by many chess players. Typically, when you analyze a problem, you start at the beginning and work your way through each phase until you reach the solution. Analyzing in reverse turns your thinking around. Starting at the conclusion, you go backwards to the beginning. Reverse match analysis is a technique used by chess players to identify areas for improvement. That is the greatest benefit of retrograde analysis. You can reverse engineer your thought process backwards and find obvious errors you never would have seen. You can use this method to detect flaws in your writing, your artwork, and even your interpersonal interactions. In other words, you can practically always find a solution by working backwards. General Knowledge How much actually do you know? Many believe they know more than they really do. You assume you are an expert on something if someone brings up a topic you are familiar with. But you wouldn't know where to begin if you had to elaborate on that concept. For example, try this bit of general information. What is the source of body heat? How we got the heat into our body? Most would respond, that's simple. We are getting energy from the food what we have ate. But very few people know the exact process how we are getting the heat energy. Let's try another one. How do people manage to stand on two legs here on Earth? Questions like these are considered common knowledge, but many people get them wrong. So how do you increase your intelligence? Ask yourself more questions. Quiz yourself and challenge the concepts you believe that you know. Because getting back to the fundamentals is nothing to be ashamed of. Fluid Intelligence To achieve a high IQ score, you must have good fluid intelligence, which is related to problem-solving abilities when you don't have the answer but still need to find something out. According to studies we found, a better memory can help you to attain a higher standard fluid intelligence. Once those people were good at solving the memory questions, they were asked to take the fluid memory test, as were the people in the study that hadn't done the memory tests. What was the result? According to the researchers, those who had taken the memory tests performed massively better on the fluid intelligence exam. They came at the following conclusion, our findings are of general significance, because they demonstrate that, fluid intelligence can be improved by cognitive training, that is different from training for the test itself. By different, they mean that, improving on an IQ test doesn't necessarily require the formal practice. Simply increasing your working memory is enough to improve IQ considerably. You can improve your own working memory by browsing for working memory tests online. There are thousands of them available throughout. Intellectual Limitations Finally, there is a simple way to raise your intelligence. You may improve your intelligence by acknowledging a single fundamental truth. You, like everyone else, have intellectual potential. This is better than playing brain games, learning a language, or doing math problems. Therefore, you have the potential to learn a lot more than you already know. You either think that, you know everything, or you know nothing. Both are false. There is a limitless pool of information that you haven't yet accessed, even though you know a few things. It doesn't matter where you come from or what you've achieved. Anyone who wants to can raise their intelligence. You've already made substantial progress toward intellectual development by accepting your potential. It was previously thought that intelligence was not something that could be improved, 
to be innate, unchangeable, but it is not true. We suggest you take an IQ test before you follow these techniques and see what score you get. Follow these simple techniques, which we have discussed in this video for improving your IQ. After that, take the IQ test again and then see what score you get. Do them until you see some improvement. If the researchers are right, you might just see an improvement. The brain is elastic, or what people often say, it is a muscle, so don't go thinking you cannot improve. You can. We'll finish with a real quote from Einstein, something very relevant to you getting a better brain, one should not pursue goals that are easily achieved. One must develop an instinct, for what one can just barely achieve, through one's greatest efforts.